Hi, this is Tom at I'd rather be writing.com. When you're working on a site, a lot of times you need content on it in order to see what it's going to look like. But if you're developing a site, it's usually blank. So here's a tip that you can do go in and add a plugin called Dummy Content, I believe. So I come in here to plugins, add new, and I'm just going to type dummy content, search for the plugin. and WP Dummy Content. And I'll just click Install Now. All right, and activate it. I, re I really like this plugin, actually. It makes things a lot easier. So now, once it's installed, we'll look for where it appears in the side menu. And here it is down at the very bottom under Settings. And here we go. We have some options. So let's do, uh, how about, 20 top level pages and two sub pages per page. We'll get a whole mix of uh, formatting on each page and we'll actually have them published. Don't worry about the custom fields. And let's do, uh, I believe you have to do them separately. So we'll first create the pages. Now we'll create some blog posts. Create 25, again we'll choose grab bag, uh, published, blog category, I guess we didn't have any there, chronological spacing, how about one day apart, and engage. Now when we go back to our site, notice I didn't have any recent posts here. Actually, I'm probably going to have tons of pages, yeah, so now, now I've got all kinds of content. Um, Kind of oh, I guess the way this is configured, I've 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 got it set to show like this. But obviously, I'd go into appearance menus, pick which ones I want. But here, I have a lot of content to work with. And now, when I go to my posts, I've got all kinds of dummy content. I don't really know where it comes from. I think part of it comes from like a Huck Finn novel or something. But definitely gives you something to play around with. All right, again, I'm Tom at I'd rather be writing.com.